welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an update for my eyeshadow roulette, which is kind of my take on the panel's eyeshadows. So a quick summary of what I'm doing every month. I'm randomly selecting four eyeshadows from my collection to work on throughout the month. My goal is to use each of those shades at least five times, but really there's no maximum limit. And then I come back on here and tell you about my experience and we're going to roll in some new ones. I also, with the four ones that I'm going to roll in today, I'm going to put them on my eyes and make a look out of them, which is the part that I'm most nervous about because I never know. It's been working out, but I never know what I'm going to get and what kind of eye look I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and begin by talking about um, the shades that I had from last month. And then we'll go into the updates, my pan percentage, all that fun stuff, and then we will roll in some new shades. So I have um, the swatches of the shades that I had in last month, very neutral based. I should say my collection is very neutral centric. I did um, get some more colorful shades in this month, which I'll show you in a second, but this is like, you know, very neutral and I'm not surprised by the shades that I have here. So let's go ahead and talk about each of these. First one, this dark brown is from the e.l.f. Bite Size Quad in Cream and Sugar, and it is the dark brown shade in here. And I was able to use this shade 11 times throughout the month, and I actually hit pan. Um, just a little bit of pan down there. I typically don't see pan, you know, because I'm only trying to use them at least five times. It's not, I mean, it's a goal of mine to hit pan on my eyeshadows, but it's not the primary goal of this project. But I did hit pan, um, and I did also decide then to use this pretty much exclusively as my eyeliner type shade. So how I use a shade like this is I wet a flat liner brush like this one with setting spray and then I dig in there and I do my eyeliner. So that's why I have a very distinct kind of marking in there but pretty exciting to hit pan. Um, the next shade on here right here is called Constrictor and this is from the ColourPop That's Taupe palette. And Constrictor is at the bottom here. So it's this kind of like olive taupey brown shade. It does have some shimmer with it. I really enjoyed using Constrictor as like the outer third of my eyelid type shade. I could use it pretty much with any color, um, just depending on how deep I want the outer corner to go. Like I could use it very lightly or I could kind of build it up if I wanted something a little bit smokier, but I really enjoyed working with the shade. The color is pretty unique, like it's a little bit different, which I like, um, but on the eyes, it looked really beautiful, and I'm glad that I got to use, you know, this That's Taupe palette, because I haven't been playing with this for the last couple months or the summertime. The next shade on here, which is kind of like a golden shade, this is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and this comes from the Wild Nothing palette. This is one of my favorite spring and summer palettes, and the shade that I randomly selected is Sultan, which is right here, and you can see I do have a good dip going in there. Again, that is a Super Shock shade, so it's very like emollient and moves around the pan easily. I just use my finger to apply it. That seems to work best for me, but I really do like um, the shade. It was easy to just kind of tap on and then go out the door like with nothing else. Um, it was really nice layered on top of other cream shadows and it was really nice layered on top of dry shadows. So overall, really, really happy that I got some more use out of that one. Oh, I forgot to say, I used Constrictor, the shade from That's Taupe, six times and I use Sultan seven times. So there you go. And the last shade on my quad here is this kind of like white shade. This comes from the Soft Glam 2 palette. I love this palette. I talk about it all the time, but it's a great travel palette. And the shade I had is Tempera, which I already had pan on this one. And for this one, I used it five times and then I decided I wasn't going to keep reaching in here because I am panning the kind of cream shade from the Bite Size Quad. I'm trying to finish this one up and I would use these in the same way. So I used it five times and then I put this shade aside so that I could focus on my Project Pan eyeshadow. Um, but Tempera is a really soft shade. I also kind of want to preserve this in this palette so that when I do travel I have a shade like this, but I use this to set my lid, um, my eyeshadow primer. I also use it as a brow bone highlight. I prefer like less of a shimmery highlight and more of like a satin matte highlight for my brow bone. So 
I did use this one five times, um, but it wasn't anything that I was like super focused on. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, the palette itself here worked, you know, on its own, but I was able to intertwine it with other shades pretty easily. Okay, let's talk about some changes to my eyeshadow collection. I have new pans and I have a new palette. So let's start with the new palette. I really wanted a rainbow palette and I've been searching high and low to figure out which one I want and I finally decided that the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette is the one for me. I do have a lot of ColourPop eyeshadows. I really like them um, and I find that they are you know, pretty affordable for what you get. So in this palette, I really liked this because I have all the like basic rainbow colors, but I also like that it's varying um, like intensities and depths. So you have like more pastels at the top working to more bold shades at the bottom. And that was something that a lot of rainbow palettes I was looking for maybe only had the bold shades or only had a couple of pastels and I really wanted that nice mix. Um, what you are seeing is I did pull out four shades of our four glitters in here. I do not use like true, like actual pressed glitters on my eyes, so I just pop those pans out. Um, that's another reason why I like the ColourPop palettes because they're all magnetic. So if you have a safety pin or like a sewing pin, you can wedge it between the packaging and the metal pan and it'll pop right out. So this palette comes with 30 eyeshadows, but I um, took four out, so I'm adding 26 shadows into my collection. Um, so that's going to change my pan percentages. And I also hit pan on four eyeshadows this month. So let me show you those. Okay, so I did jot down the dates that I hit pan. So let's go through the month. So on August 3rd, I hit pan on an ABH single. So I have this little quad here of single eyeshadows and I hit pan on pink champagne, which is this one right here. So hopefully you're seeing that shiny pan in there. Very exciting. This was in my project pan. I love this all over the lid. It goes with rosy looks, with like neutral, warm creases. It just is so versatile, I love it. And then on the seventh, I hit pan on the liner shade I was working on um, in my project pan prior to rolling this one in. And that came from the Bare Necessities palette. This is my all time favorite eyeshadow palette. And I hit pan on Stiletto, which is this brown black at the bottom. It does have some like, suspended glitter in it um but I don't know like when you tap it off the glitter kind of just falls off and it's a matte shade so I did hit pan in there pretty good size again I used it as a liner so you're seeing that distinct marking there and then on the 27th I hit pan in the brown shade from the elf quad so again just a little sliver of pan in there but pan nonetheless so three new pans this month 26 new eyeshadows this month um, so let's talk about the percentage. So I have a total of 116 eyeshadows in my collection, and I have pan on 15 of them, which makes my pan percentage 12.93% of my collection has pan on it, which is exciting. Um, I'm really happy that I'm at 15. Um, I think my goal for the end of the year, I'd love to see pan on 20 eyeshadows, so I'd have to hit pan on five more. We'll see. I think I can do it. Um, I've hit pan on all the like the easy shades, like the cream shades in my collection. So now I have to work on the liners and just other shades that I'm using on the lid. So we'll see where we get, but um, let's go ahead and roll in some new shadows, shall we? Okay, so on my spreadsheet, mine goes from two through 117. So that's what I've put into my app. Um, I will re-roll if the shades that I had in last month are randomly rolled, I like to take a month off of them, so I'm always having new shades to work on. I also will re-roll if any of the shades in my project pan roll in, um, which I don't, I think I just have one in at this point in time, so that should be two. That should be pretty easy. Um, and then I'm also going to re-roll, like I said, I am working on finishing up this kind of like cream matte shade in my project pan. So if I roll any of those types of shades in, I'm gonna re-roll because I don't wanna have competing priorities like I did with the Soft Glam Tempera in this one. I'd rather just focus in. So um, for this time, I will skip over those. But let's roll four shades and then I will check to see if we need to re-roll and we'll do that. So here we go. 47. 5, okay. 
15, and 28. So give me just a second and I will check back in. All right, so all four of those shades are good. We do not need to do any re-rolls. So I'm just gonna clean off my hand here and we will swatch and take a look at these shades and then I'm gonna put all four of them on my eyeballs somehow. So the first one I rolled is 47 and that comes from my Bare Necessities palette. And it is the shade Hote, which has been in a few times now, but I'm okay with it because I like it. Um, it's this warm kind of orangey shade here. It's a matte. And now that it is September, this will be fun to kind of start to build those warmer, like fall type looks. So I'm excited to have this one in again, even though it's the third time it's rolled in this year. I think next year I might look at my rules a little bit. Maybe like they can't roll in more than twice or something, but... I'm not mad at it. So here's a swatch of Hote right there. Really, really pretty color. The second shade, all right, the second shade that we rolled was number five, and that also comes from my Bare Necessities palette. And that is the shade All For You, which is kind of this mauve um, medium type shade. So this will be a good crease shade for me as well, or at least like a starter crease shade. Um, so the swatch is gonna be right here. Definitely a pretty like soft mauve type shade. So happy with that one as well. Definitely looking forward to, I think these two can pair together, but they also can be a standalone type shade. So we're good there. All right, the next shade that I rolled in number 15 is Boa and that is from the That's Taupe palette. So a second month with this one. And Boa is this lightest shade right here. So it is a little bit of a like dusty, I don't know, dusty brown type shade. Um, this is the type of shade that I could definitely use all over the lid, like as a matte lid color. Hopefully you can see it, it's right here. Um, but this is also a color that I can use as a contour really nicely. So I might pull it out that way. I've used shades like this in the past on my face contour. Um, but I think also just as like an, an all matte look, this could be a good like lid shade. The last shade I rolled in is 28, and that comes from my ABH Sultry palette. And I got the shade Cyborg, which is the silver shimmery shade in here, which I have obviously used. You can see that there's some like disturbance in there, but I haven't used it a ton. So I am looking forward to pulling this out, and I think it'll be fun to kind of, um, I think I'm going to put it below here, kind of mix this with those warm tones. A little bit so cyborg is kind of on my wrist here but a very kind of soft quad um, I think that you know the orange is definitely the punchy shade there but all four of these I think will be pretty easy to use I kind of always say that but um, I am happy with the quad that I got so um, as far as putting these on my eyeballs I think I'm going to start off building my crease um, with Boa first. I have already done eyeshadow primer and I've set the primer like I normally do. So we're just kind of starting from after that. So I'm going to start with Boa, this lightest shade, and kind of buff it into the crease a little bit to start building up on, on that area. So I just very lightly kind of push that into my crease. Um, the next shade I'm going to go into is All For You, which is the more like pinky shade um, from the Bare Necessities palette. And I think I'm just going to put that all over my crease as well. Alright, so that's what we're looking like. Um, I think I want to brush some of that underneath my lower lash line. Um, so I'm going to take a flat brush and just grab some of that all for you and buff it down there. Next I'm going to start to grab some of this Hote um, and buff it into like the um, outer third and like deep into the crease there. I'm going to try to go lightly. I've got a like very um, fluffy brush to do this with. So I'm just going to like kind of pounce it in. Okay, so I really 
try to like stipple it into those areas and not just broadly kind of swipe because I don't want this orangey red to just take over the whole look. Um, so I'm happy with what I did there. I am going to go back in with um, All For You just a little bit to kind of help blend out this crease a little bit more, but I am liking how this is looking. So now I'm going to take Cyborg and lay it down on the lid. I'm going to grab a little bit of Hote and blend out where that shimmer hits um, the orangey shade. Okay, so this is what we're looking like so far. I'm really liking it. Um, I like that it's a little bit more like defined, kind of blown out, but like a not so big blown out, just like really short blown out. I don't even know if that makes sense, <laughs> but I'm liking it. So I'm going to do liner and mascara quickly. Um, and a little bit of an inner corner highlight. For inner corner highlight, I'm using Pearl from the Sultra Palettes in my project pan. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to line my lid and I'll be back with mascara on. So we'll see what it looks like all together in a minute. Okay guys, I added a little bit of Boa underneath my lower lash line just to kind of blend all for you out a little bit more. But this is the completed look. I kind of love it. Um, so I think it's going to be pretty. I'm excited for the different fall tones. I'm looking forward to having Cyborg in. This is just like, I don't know. It's a really great quad. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, let's put these glasses back on so I can actually see you. Um, but yeah, this is going to be really great. Um, so all of these have at least one use now because I just used them all together right now. Um, and I'm going to try to use each of them at least five times, but hopefully more. So that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you are doing any sort of like random eyeshadow type project so I can go check it out. I'm really enjoying this eyeshadow roulette though because it's a little bit less pressure for me than like having to hit pan. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.